she walks into the space with the look of concern on her face. Quickly walking to the art altar and in the universal language of art. She connects her heart with the heart of God. So for me, I would say that outside of spirituality, art is the biggest part of my recovery. But even in that, they intertwine. So um, I would say that for me, art pretty much allows me the freedom to process and work through the emotions that I'm having trouble um, dealing with in that moment. Because, you know, art can, it, it can just express or encapsulate every emotion on the spectrum. So. You know, music is something that allows me to use sound um, where I can't use words, or sometimes I need to force myself to use words. So that's when I'll do like haikus and poetry and things like that. But then also I'm a very visual person. So um, for example, like I'll have physical issues and sometimes I work that out by painting it. So um, it helps me get into my body. Um, art keeps me grounded in my recovery. Um, it helps me repair relationships because sometimes things I want to say to people, um, I say it to them through art. So um, for me, like in terms of just making amends and things like that when it comes to recovery, art is huge because it's just an extension of myself. It's the little things that I think that we use um, in the art, you know, and asking a person, you know, instead of how are you feeling, um, give me a movement or an image of how you feel. Um, and then we do what we call a feeling circle. And in that feeling circle, not only do I see how you feel, but I also give you back how you feel. And then around the circle, we're all giving feedback about how we feel and get a chance to experience how you feel.